<clears throat> wow, it was really chilly overnight. I don't know if it's because of this different location or what, but I had to use all my blankets. I mean, I, I still have I, I still have more winter gear I can uh, put on and stuff, but it's uh, it's really hitting hard. It was chilly during the daytime, so. Uh, uh, I should have expected it, it to be a lot chillier at night. Um, so it's uh, something to get used to. I appreciate it. It's 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 a relief from all that heat. The cold is in the in the darkness too. The gray skies. It really picks up my mood. <laughs> I don't. I just. I don't know. I. I don't deal well with that sun. I think it's giving me cancer. I got this brown spot in two different two different spots on my cheek. I think it's cancer. It's just it keeps it keeps getting a brown spot that reappears. I scratch it off and then it comes back. And I think that's uh from when I had well Okay, temperature extremes are hard on me because it, it seems like those two spots for one of the two spots I got the the uh, the hypo the cold the cold sore from the extreme uh, zero degree weather uh, up in Wisconsin where I was getting bumps. It's like frostbite, early signs of frostbite. I think I, I uh, well they got red, so I didn't really kill the skin, but. It uh, it's definitely changed all that cold. It definitely changed the the structure of my skin. But then the sun, the heat and the sun do that too. It may might be uh, a lot on the what the the, the temperature uh, fluctuations might be a lot up to to that. Um, but uh, yeah, just gonna. Try to warm up. I'm, I'm trying to uh, wear my sandals as as uh, much into this cold, as much into this winter as I can too, because I only have the one pair of shoes, and I'm just I'm nervous about losing those shoes, about them uh, you know falling apart on me. The sandals, see, they're cheaper. They're eighty dollars, and the the shoes are hundred and sixty. So um, I'd rather I'd rather um, have the sandals work as long as possible. I try to wear them as long as possible because look at this. I I repaired this. This is the second repair on on this strap. All right, it's been holding up pretty good. All right, I just I put extra thread on for this one, but it, it ripped. It teared. And I repaired that, and it's and it's just regular, regular. Uh, well, twelve. It's the string that's twelve pounds that can handle twelve pounds per stitch, and uh, it's not really ripping into the leather so much. It's the actual thread that's giving. But uh, yeah, I had to drill, drill four holes uh, with a tiny dr hand drill into the leather and then I just started sewing away with my speedy stitcher and uh, I'm trying to trying to extend the life of these sandals and because they, they seem to have a pretty good life so uh, but it's just a, the issue with dealing with the cold now um, it, uh, I just you know my, my feet it, it's nice that my feet don't overheat and sweat but uh, they're they're getting a little chilly now it's just uh, socks are always too tight. I have a problem with footwear because my feet are just too wide. It's maybe not the length issue because there's people taller than me, but they don't have the feet as wide as I do. And they and uh, the, the the shoe manufacturers are going to charge a pretty penny for that <laughs> if you want specialized extra uh, six six e wide feet. And uh, it's hard to. It's hard to tell just looking at this shoe, but that's a 6E. And it works, and it fits great. Um, 
But yeah, my shoes are that size and I want to make them last. And yeah, see how long I can wear the sandals into the winter to help the shoes last.